Hey, hi, how you doing? So right now I'm currently in my room for the last time I'm moving. Yep, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to Dublin first. I'll be staying with one of my friends for about a week. And then from there I move to Amsterdam and then I'll be living in Amsterdam. Um, I don't know for how long. Um, I'm going to go to school there hopefully and just see how things goes. I don't know when I'm, I'm from California and I don't really know when the next time I'll be over here is. But before I leave, I thought I would give a little room tour because I do get asked a lot about my room because I think it's a little unique. I spent a long time painting it and just like doing stuff to it. So I'll just give you a quick overview. Oh, and also don't mind the mess. Uh, I've been packing for a really long time and I'm trying to get everything ready. I leave in like two hours. So bear with me. So this is the entryway that's like to go to the hallway, whatever. So we come in here. Um, I also have this wall, my closet. This is my meme wall. Um, that's a closet door. And then my bed, obviously not made that that's Leroy. And yeah, I also have a bunch of pop figures and little fun fact when I painted the wall, I used to have the pump, the pop figures in their boxes and I never painted behind the boxes. So yeah, it's, it's not really finished. I think everyone's kind of attached to their room. So I don't think it's the biggest shocker to say that I'm going to miss it over here, but not just my room, but like, I really, I'm going to miss my family. I'm going to miss like my friends and everything, but I'm so freaking excited to start a new life. Um, and I'll take y'all with me. Okay, we're, we're in the car. This is Louise. This is my friend. We are going to um, Dublin together. Um, say hi to my parents. Hello. Hey. And I'm here with my grandma too. She wanted to say hi. Say hi. Hi. Love. Oh yeah, that's that's not the crazy one. <laughs> my mom did not like that. Oh my God. My mom just not. visited. Oh. No, no, not no, no, just no. visited. I had to take her you home. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm grateful. laughs> So the flight was only like 10 and a half hours, which was honestly a lot easier than most of them are because we didn't have a layover. We had a direct flight from SFO, which is the San Francisco airport, straight to the Dublin airport. Absolutely love. Louise and I both downloaded the new Pokemon Legends Arceus for the plane ride, and you better believe we were playing this shit the entire vacation. Absolutely love. We also played some Trivial Pursuit while we were on the airplane, um, but that was about it. We slept the rest of it, and then we got to Dublin. We got our stuff. We got in an Uber to my friend's place in Dublin, and yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> right now we're at the student housing waiting for our friend um we got some food but we want to talk about the airplane for a second okay so we took Aer Lingus from san francisco to dublin and i don't direct flight yeah like a direct flight it was like 10 and a half hours something like that um it was fine except the flight attendants were like rude like when they would go around um they like asked us like what type of food did i want and i was like oh like what food is there she's like snacks and I'm like, oh, like, what snacks? Want it or no? And I'm like... Like, imagine if you had been, like, allergic to something or, like, a vegetarian. Literally. She literally I, just, like, threw us the stuff. Yeah, and it was, like, it had meat in it. And I was like, I mean, I eat meat, so it wasn't a big deal. But I was like, okay. Big vibes, big vibes. But they were just, like, all around in a bad mood. Like, not even just that one. It was, like... Just, like, snappy. Yeah, and they wouldn't answer questions. And, like, we, we didn't ask a lot of questions. I was just, like... Hey, can I have like water? And she's like, no, that's my like that's my assistant or whatever the yeah. other girls. And thing. when you were like, oh, can like I throw this away? And she was like, service is over. Okay, little baby rant over. We finally met up with our friend Genevieve. We call her Jean or Vive. So if I ever say that, that's what I'm talking about. It was so pretty for the first few days we were in Dublin. Like it was so warm and sunny, and I was expecting like rain and cold, and you know like. Like how you think Ireland is like, like dr 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 dreary, dreary is the word. Yeah, but it wasn't, it was like super cute. I absolutely loved it. We walked around the city center and then we just went to a park, hung out, then got some food and went back to her place. It was a really chill day. Hello. Okay. This is day two. I just woke up. Um, it is 10 AM, which means I woke up at like a pretty good time for jet lag sake like since it's like a nine hour difference from like california and i woke up at 10 a.m so today i don't exactly know what my plans are i know at five o'clock i'm getting my ears pierced so really hot and sexy really really excited for that and um i think i'm getting brunch but other than that don't know 
So yeah, we brushed our teeth, took showers, got ready, had our brunch, which did take longer than expected, but it is what it is. And then we just went about our day. Okay, so now we're at the train station waiting for our train to go to Dunleary. Dunleary. Dunleary, sorry, Dunleary. It's very excited to go do that. Um, it's like 30, it's like a 30 minute train ride from here. So very big vibes. And yeah, I'll show you when we're there. The train ride to Dunleary was short and sweet. And then when we finally got there, it was just like this really cute coastal city town vibes. I know it's technically not a city because it's part of Dublin, but yeah, it's like just it. like a coastal yeah. town. And it was really fun. And it reminded me a lot of home. And just like home, I don't think anywhere in the world has public bathrooms that are not literally a complete and utter nightmare like i think just looking at it probably will give you a staph infection not gonna lie we got on the train back a bit late which was unfortunate because that means we went to the piercing appointment a bit late so only louise and i could get our ears pierced sorry gene okay a little bit of a jump cut it is now oh my god what morning is what monday morning um i'm here with louise um genevieve slept over at her boyfriend's house so we woke up we're gonna go get lunch or not lunch we're gonna go get breakfast then meet up with genevieve at the zoo okay also louise and i got our piercings i was gonna say we both well i know we did both get earrings um just different kind different ear parts. <laughs> yeah so i got my lobes they're really small um but I have a specific jewelry I want to put in them later on. So this isn't the finished product yet. Do you wanna do you wanna show what you got? Well it's fucked up, but sure. It's it's a little painful. <laughs> it's they tightened it too much. Oh so there funny. there we go. Oh, wait, 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 there we go. Yeah. It's the date? It's the date. How painful? Scale of one to ten. <laughs> well, you can see I have several piercings in several locations, and that was by far the most painful one. Um but maybe at the fault of the piercer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shade, but all shade intended. I mean, he was fine for me, but I was just in my lobes. Yeah, the so. easiest piercing. Yeah, it was okay. literally the easiest, but um, big vibes. Fun little side note, the piercer did do Louise's piercing wrong, and she had to get it taken out. Um, It was extremely painful, and literally everything that he could have done wrong went wrong. So, yeah, that was not fun. Ink Factory in Dublin, do not recommend. It's just, like, really weird to, like, be in Europe together like I don't I don't know it's just like it's it's hard to like comprehend but As big you vibes would say, mega huge monstrous vibes <laughs> I say it exactly like that mega huge monstrous vibes colossal okay we finally got V we got Jean and Exactly. Oh my god. I'll bleep that. But oh my god, that's so funny. Um, we're going to the Dublin Zoo, right? That's yeah. where. We're, yeah, we're at the Dublin Zoo. Um, we will show you the really cute animals, and as Jean says, the really bad parenting. <laughs> so if there's any meltdowns, we um. I'll try and film it. It had probably been close to like 10 or 15 years since the last time I went to a zoo. So it was really interesting to like go back and see them. Because I think it's like just common knowledge now that zoos aren't the most ethically or morally correct ways of keeping animals. And being at the zoo kind of really like showed me that. Like some of the enclosures, like the lion enclosure was a lot smaller than I thought appropriate. You see the booties of the baboonies? And then someone yeah. in the car oh my god, I see them. <laughs> But I digress. All in all, I had a really fun day, and it was it was good. So Successful day at the at the at the zoo. I got a little dinosaur. Oh my god, feet hurt from walking. Okay, later that night, I was walking around Dublin when I stumbled across this one street that reminded me so like eerily similar of Colombia. And I will do the side by side. Uh, here you go. Okay, so this was in Ireland, and it was a really cute street. And then this was in Colombia. Literally, same vibe. Absolutely adored it. We're off to a great start to day four. Um, absolutely love it. We're going to Hoth today. Um, it's just like a, a, a like a, a walk, a hike thingy along the cliffside. Absolutely love. Okay. Very big yes, vibes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So again, we walked to the train station, took a train, all good. We got to Hoth. It was again, just like a coastal town vibe. But this was, this day was a lot more cloudy and foggy, more what you would like assume Ireland to be, you know? But yeah, we just took this one trail that led us to a castle and it was so much fun. We did a little photo shoot and I am posting these pictures on Instagram. So go check that out. 
literally but the castle was so pretty and we were just frolicking through the halls and it was just like really like just the wildest vibes i know i say vibes a lot but like this was literally vibes like could you think of anything more vibey than just like frolicking through irish woods next to a castle question mark like excuse me okay so we just finished getting some lunch um now we're going on a trail the bog frog trail frog bog trail frog bogs bog of frogs bog of frogs it's we, really fog yeah. oh <laughs> foggy yeah, it kind of be foggy while we're trying to look for frogs in the bog of frogs. So um, I'll, I'll let you know if we're successful in finding frogs, of course. Unfortunately, we did not find any frogs and there will be a pretty big jump cut because we went home and then we went clubbing. So we got dressed for the club and then we picked up one of my friends, Kian. Say hi to Kian. And yeah, we just started dancing. It was like this indie rave and it was just a lot of fun. Okay, hey, it is Wednesday morning. Last night we went out dancing. It was really fun. Nothing wild. We didn't stay up too late because Jean had school in the morning and I'm actually walking to her school right now. Um, the piercings that Louise and I got, they were fun, but Louise's was too tight. It like, It's like really, really painful for her and it's giving her a massive headache. So she's not, um, she's not feeling well. She's gonna have to skip out on visiting trinity college today which is really sad she really wanted to go hopefully she'll be able to do it um on one of her last days here but yeah in the meantime i'm just walking there by myself it's like a 15 minute walk so not bad at all but my feet are completely blistered and like open and sore so definitely not like the most funky fun and fresh but all's well so the school that Jean is studying at is called Trinity College, and it's a very prestigious school in Dublin. And obviously it gives, like, you the whole, like, Hogwarts vibes. Like, scenes of Harry Potter were filmed in the old library. So you get that whole fantasy, but it was, like, it was a little grim for me, So we me went to personally. Trinity to I see the Book of Kells, which is the oldest there. surviving Bible in Ireland. And that's obviously, like, a really big deal for many reasons, um, of which I do not know. And we were very tired and just kind of out of it. So we left. <laughs> uh, today was a very chill day. We just kind of like vibed. Chill day. It was, it was like chill yeah. in the sense that we didn't do much, cold. but we were all like, really chill. yeah, it was very cold. So oh. it was chill, but also like, Wait, we were we all in pain. Did some things. We saw the book of cows. That is very true. Okay. So Let it was not tell them what happened. I was fighting for my life. <laughs> she was gripping the toilet with her toes. She uh, was like, say, "Yeah, I mean, you friendly. can, you can." Um, I was experiencing some morning sickness unrelated to pregnancy. We can say yeah, it was it was a fight for her. I was fine. B went to school. Um, oh, that's that's Jean's boyfriend, Jamie. Um, but unrelated. Now we're playing Pokemon. And watching Coyote Peterson enter the Sting Zone and culturing some Irish people. Well, that's just one well, Irish the, person. The, well, there were there two, two people, but they didn't want to stay. They didn't, <laughs> but they didn't get to yeah, experience were, the we Sting. We were like, you have to watch the Sting, and they were like, I, I, I'm now realizing. No I mean, way. what are the chances people don't know Coyote Peterson? Coyote Peterson's great. I didn't if know you Coyote watch Coyote until um, then you have to watch Coyote. Oh, Those are the rules. yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Okay, so today is my last day in Ireland. I leave tomorrow morning. I have not recorded anything really. I think it's like 7 p.m. already. Not much happened. I got my COVID test. Um, I just walked around a little bit and it was a really fun trip. Also, I'm not here with Jean or Lewis, Genevieve or Louise because um, they went to Galway, but I definitely am gonna come back to Ireland hopefully soon and then I'll go to Galway for myself. But yeah, that's the end for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe maybe, and I will catch you next week. And now I'm gonna be moving to Amsterdam. So that's gonna be really hot and sexy. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.